Hello my friends, I'm the Itty Bitty Celtic Witch, and today we are here for a Lenormand collection video. So I'm going to be flipping the camera around shortly and sharing the four Lenormand decks that make up my collection. If you would like to learn more about the Lenormand system of divination and how it differs from tarot and oracle, let me know in the comments down below. I'd be happy to create a more broader video around what Lenormand is. Now, without further ado, let's flip the camera around and take a closer look at these decks. So to kick it off, let's start with the Lenormand fortune telling cards. Now I'm including the guidebook here because I don't actually have the box that this deck came with anymore. I keep these cards in a bag. Now you can see right away that it is a pretty thick guidebook in terms of different guidebooks that you can come across. It does break down the meanings of each of the cards into different reading scenarios. So here we have an overall tip, we have love, we have happiness and success. And it does this for each of the cards. It also includes a color picture next to the information, which is not something you often see in guidebooks. Usually they're printed in black and white, which is perfectly okay too, saves on ink. It's just kind of nice to see the colored image as well when you are learning the Lenormand system. So this deck was actually the first Lenormand deck that I started to work with. Let's take a closer look at a couple of the cards. So this is the first card. We can see that it says number one on it. And in this deck in particular, there is a phrase that is written in an older style of English. Now this is the only Lenormand deck that I have, which has a key phrase written on it. And let's read this first one just to give you guys an idea and a feel for what the cards are like. The rider brings new things from a foreign land. Recognize him as yourself and you've chosen the right man. So it does have an older feel to the language itself, as well as to the imagery. It brings to mind a very Victorian style of imagery and illustration. I think of a lot of sort of Victorian vintage greeting cards when I look at this deck. It very much has that soft, gentle feel. You can see even in this, there's like a watercolor gradient in the sky in the background. It is overall a very soft imagery deck and it was a good deck to sort of start learning from when I was beginning to expand into Lenormand cards. It has very traditional sort of imagery that goes along with the meanings. So it was an easy starting point to learn from and get a feel for the Lenormand system of divination as a whole. Now I'm gonna jump right into the Celtic Lenormand and this is actually the the deck that I read with most often when it comes to Lenormand cards now. And the artwork is by Will Worthington. If you have seen any of my collection videos, you know I am a huge fan of his style of artwork. So this kind of fits into a similar sort of imagery to the druid craft, druid animal, druid plant, but it is different. It does have a different feel entirely to the deck. So there's some similarities if that is a collection of decks you really like working with, but there's also some differences and it does have a unique feel. So this one also comes with a smaller guidebook. This one fits right into the box. The other deck did fit, the guidebook did fit into the box. It was a much larger box. So there's also a lot of information here in this guidebook. So let's look at storks. So we have keywords. There's a description of sort of the energy around what that card might mean, verbs, action kind of energy, which is really unique because then it places the cards in a context both of sort of connecting with the present energy, but also something that is unfolding and moving and changing with the verbs and that action energy. Then we have a description of what the person might look like if you are looking at it in that context. Playing card association because Lenormand decks do often have that. Description, 
meaning spiritual reading, dark and light. So it does give you that sort of shadow energy as well. If you're looking to get the full scope and context of the card and understand what sort of downsides it might be bringing as well so that you can address them and move through them. It also includes spell use, so that is unique. It does fold in some magical energy as well. Affirmation, and then it links different deities. So this is for each of the cards. There's a lot of information packed into this very small guidebook. One thing that's really unique about this deck as well is that there are duplicates of the cards. So if we look here at Dog, Dog is card number 18 in the Lenormand. But with this deck, we also have Cat. And this is true for a few of the cards. We get this as well with Birds and with a few different cards. So there is... There is a unique take on this. Here we get another one. Here we have Lord, and then 20 is also Man. So you have different figures, different energy appearing for the same card, which sort of expands on the deck as a whole. So now let's take a closer look at the imagery on these cards. So you can see it's again right away very, very different than the Lenormand fortune telling cards we were just looking at. There's not a lot of Victorian imagery here. It's a very different feel, very different artistic style. And we do see a lot of those Celtic elements folded in, which makes a lot of sense given it's the Celtic Lenormand. We can see a shield in the background. We can see some traditional Celtic houses. It is a very good deck to work with. Again, down in the corner, I mentioned the Playing Cards Associations. They are included on this Lenormand deck. So this card is the Moon. Let's take a look at a few more. This guy is upside down. I really like the imagery in this deck. I find it to be very earthy, very rooted. It kind of has that sort of historical feel to it. And that is something that I really like working with generally. I really like that historical energy and symbolism folded into decks. Again, we have, oh my goodness, here is one of those cards that is actually a duplicate card where we have an alternate meaning. And that is for the birds card. And let's see if I can actually just jump ahead and spot the other 12 while we are here. It gives you guys a super quick look at some of the cards. Let's just take a look and it's always going to be right at the bottom. So here is side by side. Let's take a look at these two guys. So this energy is usually just included in one card in Lenormand, so there'd just be one 12 card. But this deck adds two different perspectives to that 12. We have the perspective of the hens clucking in the yard, and the perspective of these birds that are resting and perched on a branch. And that is something I absolutely love and cherish of this deck. We also get that with this card as well. Oh, here. Exactly. There's a third interpretation for the 12 card as well, actually, that I forgot to mention. It popped right out. And this is the owl's energy. So we get another representation of communication, which is often what this card is associated with. We have the hens in the yard. We have the gathering of birds perched here. And we have the wise owls communicating with each other. So a lot of information to expand on the Lenormand system with this deck, which is really, really a fabulous tool when you're learning. Now, if you haven't read with Lenormand before, I would still recommend learning with this deck. It's just something to be mindful of that a lot of the decks don't always have multiple cards in them for a single number. So that's just just something to keep in mind, but it is a really, really good deck to work with. The guidebook is fabulous. And if you are interested in working with Celtic sort of imagery, then this is this is a fabulous Lenormand deck. So now let's take a look at my next Lenormand deck in my collection. And that is the Seekers Lenormand. 
So the Seekers Lenormand is created by Skull Garden and this is an accompaniment to a deck you may have seen in my tarot collection video which was the wooden tarot. It is part of that collection. So now we have a very very different imagery coming through. It's again a really wonderful deck and wonderful fabulous energy to work with. I love in particular with this collection that the paintings are actually done on wood. So if you look really closely, and I'll zoom in there, you can actually see the wood grain come through on each of these cards, and that is just something really fabulous. This was the second Lenormand deck I picked up. I have worked with it for many, many years now, and I absolutely adore the imagery and the interpretations that it can bring up. That's one thing that's so wonderful about having access to so many different decks these days, so many different artists sharing their interpretations of different styles of decks because it adds so much expansion, so much context, so much opportunity for growth and learning around different styles of reading, around different symbolism and the meanings of different cards. I love this interpretation of garden. It's not like a traditional sort of looking garden by any means, but the way that the apple kind of folds into the grapes and we have the acorn here as well. It's just, it's fabulous. And the tower as a crystal. Now the tower peering here, if you are a tarot reader and you're very familiar with tower decks, this is not the same as the tarot tower card. It has a different meaning. Often the tower is more associated with perspective and with clarity. So seeing the tower here as a crystal then would fold in this idea of being able to perhaps intuitively work with a crystal to find more clarity and more perspective about a situation. So it is a really, really wonderful deck to work with as well. So let's now dive into the last Lenormand deck in my collection, which is the Claire de Lune Lenormand. And this one came in a little tin, and I absolutely adore that. I love little tins. I just, I love little boxes, little jars, little tins. I'm a bit of a, I'm a bit of a witchy, eclectic person who loves these things. And let's take out the author's name so that you guys can find it if you're interested. Again, all of the details for all of these different decks, I will put them down below so that you can check them out if you are interested in them. So the Claire de Lune Lenormand here comes with, instead of a guidebook, we have this little sheet that is folded into the tin very, very nicely. And it gives a sort of a quick look at each of the card meanings. So here is the imagery on the Claire de Lune Lenormand. And this is a very unique style of imagery. We have a very darker look to this deck as a whole because it is, it's on black. It is has a black background, which is not something that I have in a lot of my decks. It is a very fabulous style. I love the look of the etchings and how like the crossroads here, oh my goodness, it just opens up into this beautiful forest energy. The cross is another really, really fabulous card that is depicted here where we have that ray of light coming through. Then the boat. I love this. This is just it fits in so nicely. It makes me think of like all of those historical boats that we don't see so often anymore when we're thinking of modern boats. And it is, it is absolutely fabulous. So this is a beautiful deck to work with. I really, really enjoy, enjoy this deck and its style of imagery and the energy that it adds. So let's take a closer look at a couple more cards from this deck. So here is one of our woman cards. And I will actually have a quick look through the deck like we did for the Celtic Lenormand and see if I can find the other one. And there we go. So here is the other woman card. So you do have two different imagery styles to choose from, or if you wanna include them both in the deck, the same is for man. There's two different styles of the man representation and you can include them both or whichever sort of preference you have for reading with Lenormand decks. And look at bear there and fox. So fabulous. I love the animal imagery in this style. 
And let's wrap it up with Ryder. So that is all for our Lenormand collection video together. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more, please do hit the subscribe button. If you'd like to join me for monthly witchy lessons, then have a look at the Patreon details below. And if you'd like to book a reading with me, then have a look at the Etsy link. Wishing you a most wonderful and magical day and so very many blessings. <laughs>